winning matters, and let's face it, as fans we can fundamentally agree that it's better when Arizona Athletics wins, versus when they lose. It measures success and is ultimately the end goal in college athletics. Well, after some discussion yesterday on social media that suggested 2017-18 wasn't a particularly great year for Arizona, I figured I would give my reason as to why this past year was a successful one for the Wildcats. Let's first start with the glaringly obvious, Arizona is perceived to be a great basketball school, and that's where we get most of our publicity and notoriety. We can thank Lou Olson and Fred Snowden for setting the standard. More from Zona Zealots this past year, with arguably the best freshman in all of college basketball, a talented roster and a winning coach, expectations were high and rightfully so. That was until an FBI investigation came to light and brought a dark cloud over the program. Former associate coach Emmanuel Book Richardson would be placed on leave, drama would continue throughout the season, injuries would happen, as well as a suspension. We also can't forget that during that time, we were also graced with the now debunked story ran by ESPN's Mark Schleyback. Despite all that, the Wildcats added another Pac-12 regular season championship and another Pac-12 tournament championship. Arizona also went 20-1 at home in McHale. However, all that was seemingly outweighed by the bad. The team was bounced in the first round of the NCAA tournament, losing to Buffalo was certainly a low point, and left many fans feeling dejected or angry. The hopes of a potential Final Four run dashed away early on. We also can't ignore the tumultuous end to 2017 for Arizona football. After starting the season 2-2, that enters a spark plug in Khalil Tate. Perhaps the missing piece to the Wildcats puzzle, Arizona would reel off four straight wins, including an upset of then no. 15 ranked Washington State, Arizona entered the top 25 and things are looking good for a strong finish. Well, that is until Arizona proceeded to lose four of its next five games, including the bowl game to Purdue. Days later, rumors of a sexual harassment investigation surfaced and rocked the program. Then head coach Rich Rodriguez would then be fired, creating another negative buzz for Arizona Athletics. Lastly, we can't help but look at Arizona softball. An elite program that has seemingly been knocked from its pedestal in recent years. For the eighth straight season, the Wildcats will be watching the College World Series from home. This year, the Wildcats were eliminated in the Super Regionals by their conference rival, UCLA. However, as we look at the athletics department as a whole, was it really a disappointment? Here's why I don't think it is. Championships are the standard, and should be strived for. It measures tangible success in a way that wins and losses simply don't, and to an outsider, here's how it looks. National Championships Arizona Women's Golf won the school's 19th overall national championship, and first since 2012 when Arizona baseball defeated South Carolina to win the College World Series. This was also the program's third title. Conference Championships The Arizona basketball team once again won a regular season Pac-12 title, as well as a conference title. Here are a few more measures of success. Postseason appearances Softball once again made a deep tourney run, but ultimately fell short foot. Ball made a bowl game despite losing, and put together a winning season when many anticipated the Wildcats to struggle in 2017. Men's basketball made another NCAA tournament appearance, their 35th in program history. Soccer made the postseason for the third time in the past four seasons. Coming a long way from their 1-1-6-2 season in 2011, women's golf made a deep tournament run, winning the national championship track. 
Trier named AP All-Americans in Basketball Academic Progress Report Men's Cross Country. Ryan, I have to say there were many positives and it's unfair to the student-athletes and coaches to make this type of generalization. We need to stick up for our programs. Lots of good, I will remember the success and progress made in 17-18 much success.